you'll see from the rig section that I'm using maggots on all my rods and there's no coincidence about that. The reason I'm using maggots on here is there are very, very few small fish in this lake, which is quite unusual. There's no little roach, no little perch or anything, so your maggots can stay out there for long periods of time and not get touched until a carp comes along. If there were little ones out there, they'd only last a few minutes. So if you can use maggots in the winter because there's not any nuisance fish, I definitely recommend you using them. I mean, in the summer too, they're not just a winter bait. I'm using quite a few different types of maggots. That's the first one. Basically, they're, they're just dead maggots that I've put in the freezer. So I've frozen those for a couple of days, got them out, they, they've turned from, you know, their lovely sort of bright colours to that dark, horrible colour. The reason I'm using them dead is because they don't crawl away, obviously. They're not going to go anywhere. So when I put the bags out on the rigs, the dead maggots are going to stay there, even if the live ones crawl away. And there's a few casters in there as well for the same reason. They're not going to crawl away anywhere, they're going to stay there. So even if the live maggots crawl into the leaves and all that sort of stuff that's on the bottom in this lake, that stuff's going to stay there and hopefully when a carp comes along it's still going to be attractive. Now the next lot of maggots have got something else special put into them which I've been tipped off about recently. You see there they're really yellow and that's the reason my hands have looked so yellow all the way through the fishing. I've put turmeric in them which is a spice. Basically I went into a tackle shop to buy a load of maggots to fish over here and the guy said have you started putting turmeric in? A mate of his has been doing it fishing on the rivers and catching loads of fish so that's a little tip you can use in any type of fishing. Try spicing the maggots up a little bit. Carp love spicy things, they love spicy boilies, spicy particles. I put chilli in my hemp all the time. There's no reason why you can't put that sort of stuff in your maggots as well. So that's those two. Now I'm actually baiting up in quite a unique way. I'm using a catapult, I'm not using a spod or anything else because of the commotion and what I'm doing is I'm making three or four funnel web bags up in advance, hooking one on the rig, casting it out and then as soon as it's hit the surface and caused the splash I use that as my target and then the other three come out of my pocket quickly and then I'm basically catapulting over that splash so I've got three or four other little patches of maggots all around the hook bait. So it's a really, really effective way of baiting up. You don't have to do it just with these sort of bags. You can do it with boilies and everything else because if you wait, put the rod down, put the bobbin on and all that sort of thing and then look back up, you lose where the rig's actually gone. So do it straight away. Cast out, as soon as it, the splashes hit the surface, catapult them out and then you've got a little bit of bait, hopefully enough to get a bite and you're angling. So that's a good little tip for baiting up accurately.